Activision Blizzard, which was under fire from investors due to sexual harassment allegations and leadership turmoil, has agreed on a $68.7 billion all-cash deal with Microsoft. This video will look into the $68.7 billion Microsoft Activision deal. Sounds interesting? Then, let's get started. Microsoft bought Activision, Blizzard in a $68.7 billion deal on January 18, 2022, and indeed it came to stun the tech and gaming worlds. Activision Blizzard is one of the most iconic game studios in the world. Nonetheless, they had been dealing with many scandals for months, including a lawsuit filed in California condemning Activision Blizzard for encouraging a culture of constant sexual harassment. According to reports, Bobby Kotick, the CEO of Activision Blizzard, was aware of sexual misbehavior and sexual assault charges at his company for years, but did nothing. In addition, Phil Spencer, Microsoft Gaming CEOs and head of Xbox wrote in a blog post implicitly referencing Activision Blizzard's ongoing unrest. He said, We also believe that creative success and autonomy go hand in hand with treating every person with dignity and respect. We hold all teams and all leaders to this commitment. We're looking forward to extending our culture of proactive inclusion to the great teams across Activision Blizzard. Microsoft is committed to our journey for inclusion in every aspect of gaming, among both employees and players. In an email to workers, Kodak stated that he will stay CEO of Microsoft Activision Blizzard until Microsoft completes the acquisition, which is anticipated to be completed in 2023. However, Activision Blizzard will report to Phil Spencer, Microsoft Gaming CEOs and head of Xbox. There were a lot of reactions from employees about Microsoft's decision to retain Kodak as the head of Activision Blizzard, and we will soon tell you more about this. In this same blog post, Spencer announced that Activision Blizzard Microsoft would push through as part of Microsoft's objective. It is no secret that Microsoft has many ambitions in the gaming industry, so much so that there are rumors of Microsoft trying to monopolize the gaming industry. Some people believe Microsoft will have to face the Department of Justice in the USA sooner or later. This video will give detailed information about Microsoft Monopoly soon, so stay with us. Moreover, Kodak is anticipated to step down once the deal is completed, which is believed to be in 2023. However, as long as Kodak is in charge, the Microsoft Activision Blizzard acquisition news is unlikely to ease workers' fears. Activision Blizzard staff walked out in protest of not only sexual misconduct allegations, but also the dismissal of quality assurance for Call of Duty. Employees, after earning status as one of the company's most prominent internal voices for change, Jessica Gonzalez, a senior test analyst, declared her resignation in November 2021. Your inaction and refusal to take accountability is driving out great talent and the products will suffer until you are removed from your position as CEOs. She wrote this on the company's forum. Many employees were pushing for the dismal of Bobby Kadok. However, he will remain as the head of Microsoft Activision. Do you think Kadok should remain head of Microsoft Activision? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Not all, but Spencer was asked about Activision Blizzard Microsoft in an interview with the New York Times before news of the deal became public. Spencer remarked that Xbox's historical record is imperfect. He used the example of Microsoft hiring schoolgirl dancers for a party at the 2016 Game Developers Conference, demonstrating the same frat boy attitude that has caused so many issues for women in the gaming business. Perhaps because of the scandal Xbox encountered, Microsoft decided to overlook the accusation against Activision Blizzard and instead focus on the services it can provide for them. According to Microsoft's press release, this Microsoft Activision Blizzard will make Microsoft the world's third largest gaming corporation by revenue, trailing behind Sony and Tencent. Mega franchises such as Candy Crush, World of Warcraft, and Call of Duty are produced by Activision Blizzard, while Microsoft Gaming creates Xbox consoles. Microsoft's online gaming subscription, Game Pass, which just surpassed 25 million subscribers, will include Activision Blizzard games. On the other hand, Activision's games have roughly 400 million monthly active users. Furthermore, Activision Microsoft isn't Microsoft's 
first multi-billion dollar acquisition in recent years. Microsoft revealed plans to buy ZeniMax Media Incorporated, the parent company of Bethesda Game Studios and other publishers, in late 2020. Bethesda Game Studios and other publishers produce popular titles like The Elder Scrolls, Doom, and Fallout. Microsoft finalized its $7.5 billion deal to acquire ZeniMax Media in 2021. As a result, Microsoft's buying of Activision Blizzard has raised concerns about Microsoft establishing a gaming monopoly. Meta Platforms Incorporated, for example, has been sued for antitrust violations related to its purchase of virtual reality companies. Meta bought Downpour Interactive, a virtual reality game developer, in April 2021. Meta also purchased Unit 2 Games and Big Box VR in June 2021. Among the other VR game startups Meta has purchased in previous years include Sansaru Games in February 2020, Ready at Dawn in June 2020, and Beat Games in November 2019. Despite this, Spencer wrote in a tweet on January 18, 2022, that I'm on vacation today, lol, but if I were not, I would be calling up some antitrust experts because Xbox buying Bethesda. And now Activision sure seems like the type of horizontal merging that the DOJ frowns upon. The Microsoft Activision Blizzard deal, which values Activision Blizzard at $95 per share, is expected to finalize in 2023, but the board members of Microsoft Activision have given their consent to this deal. Gaming is the most vivid and dynamic form of entertainment on the planet, and we've all witnessed the strength of socialization and friendship that gaming provides. Microsoft Activision Blizzard is sure to stir up the gaming industry this year. We have a lot to look out for, Microsoft Activision. Check out our other video about the top 7 facts about Microsoft if you like this one. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.